Hello everyone, I'm Seth with Exotic Motorsports and this is our 2018 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon Unlimited. It has 56,342 miles on it. it. does have some aftermarket modifications as you can see. Graded headlights, different front grille, steel front bumper, an array of LED lights. We do have upgraded fog lights down here that are LED as well. So we've got that light bar mounted on the front bumper, the light bar mounted on the hood. We have LED pods on the sides and they are all wired to switches and functional. The front end is in really good shape. The front bumper looks great. There's no cosmetic damage to it or anything like that. <coughs> the hood is also in fantastic shape. There's no marks or anything on there. Same with the fenders. It is the recon edition as well. Front driver's side wheel. It's in great shape. These are the factory wheels with, I do believe these are upgraded tires with Mud Terrain TAs by BF Goodrich. Does have rock sliders with a step incorporated into it. Driver's side mirror looks pretty good. Does have a few just small marks on it, but nothing serious. It looks really good overall. We also have this uh, side mount with the uh, LED pods on the sides, but it does support an LED bar across the top of the windshield as well that is not currently installed. Front driver's side door looks great. No issues there. Rear driver's side door also in great shape. Rear fender looks really good, no issue there. The rear quarter panel, if you can really even call it that. It's also in great shape. Rear driver's side wheel does not have any marks or anything like that on it. Looks good. Moving to the back, we do have these taillight guards with a CNC American flag over it, pretty cool. Spare wheel. Back bumper looks great, does have a uh, trailer hitch as well. No issues in the rear. Moving over to the passenger side, looking at the rear quarter panel area here. I do apologize for the wind. It's a pretty windy, hot day here in Oklahoma. Please bear with me. Uh, no damage to the passenger rear quarter panel. That all looks really good. Rear passenger wheel. Does not have any flaws or defects. That looks good as well. Rear passenger door. Looks great. Front passenger door. Also excellent condition. Passenger side rock slider. Fantastic shape, no issues. <coughs> passenger mirror. Looks good as well. Front passenger fender. No issues there. And the front passenger wheel does have just a couple marks on it few scuffs, a couple scratches, nothing serious, all very minor wear and tear. I'll go ahead and walk around the vehicle from a one foot distance to give you a better big picture idea of the overall condition of the vehicle. Here at Exotic Motorsports, we believe in complete transparency and full disclosure of the quality of our inventory. Sometimes the vehicles can sound like they're in worse condition than they really are. So by walking around the vehicle from a one foot distance, it's a lot more indicative of the true condition that the vehicle is in. You can differentiate between which blemishes are superficial and which ones are more noticeable by standing about a foot away as opposed to like really combing over the vehicle and pointing out every defect that it has. 
So hopefully by me walking around this Jeep, you have a better idea of the overall condition of the vehicle and how well it's been kept over its life. So let's go ahead and check out the interior. So we do have black door panels with the red little cargo nets on the side. Got red seat belts, very nice accenting. Red contrast stitching and the Rubicon branding there. Black leather seats, very nice. They're heated as well. And of course with the Rubicon, you get the uh, unlockable sway bar and the uh, electronic, uh, electronic locking um, differentials. So the driver's seat, as you saw, is in excellent condition. Looks brand new. No issues there. And you have these wild boar um, side handles. Help you get in the vehicle a lot easier. They're definitely a huge ergonomic upgrade. Got the uh, keys here. It is not pushed to start. It is turnkey. Starts right up, no issues. So the thing that you might have heard talking to you is this uh, interesting rear view mirror. So it does have a forward facing camera built into the mirror attachment and then there's another camera underneath the vehicle to the rear. It's kind of cool, it shows you date, time, speed, and then there's two camera angles and uh, it is kind of like a traffic cam, it does record as well, um, permanently records in a loop onto the SD card built into it. So if you were to uh, get into an accident or something, um, you would have the footage there for that for insurance purposes. So that's nice to have. So we've got the stereo here. It has um, Bluetooth, auxiliary, USB, stuff like that. We've got single climate control, mirror adjustments. It does have heated seats and traction control. And the um, toggle for the 110 volt outlet which is just under the armrest here i'm sorry 115 volt at 150 watts the interior is in great condition dash looks great there's no wear on the steering wheel at all all the buttons look really good window controls here look really good none of the markings are faded at all on any of the buttons Cup holders are nice and clean. Passenger seat looks great. Passenger door panel looks great. Rear seats are also in really good shape. I mean, it looks virtually brand new. We do have these aftermarket auxiliary lights. So we have our Sasquatch lights, the hood LED bar, the front LED bar we've got rock lights the rear lights and the zombie lights which i'm assuming the zombie lights are the front a pillar lights here so we can go ahead and take a look at all those might have been something included in the rear uh, that's no longer there because there are no rear lights but there you can see all of the LEDs functioning it does have a nice voltmeter there as well in case you need to use this while you're parked to make sure you're not killing your battery Let's take a look at the engine bay. Um, Jeeps are kind of weird. They don't have a hood release on the interior. They just have these latches on the front. It's the only deal that holds the hood in place. So you just remove those. And then it does have a small latch that you just move over to the side. There we 
go. And then of course it does have a hood prop as well. It doesn't have hydraulic struts unfortunately. Um, but there's the Pentastar V6 and the LED accessories wired in. The engine is all stock, no modified exhaust intake or anything like that. It's all factory, very clean, um, idles very quietly, feels really good and steady when you're driving, the shifts are super smooth, the power is there when you need it. When I say power, obviously it's not super fast making a ton, but it's enough to um, comfortably move the vehicle around under its own weight. You don't feel like it's struggling to get around. So that is always nice. Go ahead and shut the hood here. It does take two hands. So the engine and transmission feel very healthy. It's based on how it sounds and me driving it around it feels really good uh, this is a really fun vehicle to have it's very capable in trails and off-road especially being the rubicon trim that's jeep's best offering for the wrangler it doesn't get better than that and the uh modifications done to it just make it even better so it's awesome for a daily driver it's really fun off-road uh, very practical with tons of interior space for storage and whatever you like so that is our 2018 jeep wrangler rubicon if you have any further questions please feel free to check out our sales listing on our website at exoticmotorsportsok.com thank you for watching